Hello there. Chrome is reducing the information shared and its user agent strength to help protect user privacy. If you rely on the user agent to detect the visitor's operating system version, Android device model, or detailed browser version, you may need to take action. The user agent is a string that provides information about the user's browser and their environment. For example, knowing a visitor to your site is using Chrome 110 on Android. Your browser sends this information in an HTTP header and makes it available via JavaScript. The problem with full user agent string is that it shares detailed information about the browser by default on every request, which is a major factor in enabling cross-site tracking. Our goal is to reduce the opportunities for passively collecting this data while providing APIs to allow you to actively access data when you need it. We have already started removing some of that information and replacing it with fixed values. From Chrome 101, we replaced the minor version number with zeros. From Chrome 107, we replaced the desktop operating system version and CPU information with a fixed value for each platform. Starting in Chrome 110, we're going to start gradually introducing a fixed value for Android version and device model. So instead of seeing something like Android 13 on Pixel 7, the default value will always be Android 10 on Model K. The user agent format will stay the same as before. If you only use it to read the operating system type or major browser version, that data will not change, and you do not need to take any action. If you currently use the more detailed data, it's always good to check if you can use progressive enhancement or feature detection instead. There are plenty of valid reasons to access detailed user agent data, such as providing device-specific content, anti-fraud functionality, or fine-grained logging. If you need this, you can use the User Agent Client Hints API to request it. Like User Agent, User Agent Client Hints is available via HTTP headers or JavaScript. You may have already seen the default headers being sent with the secch UA prefix. You can use the accept ch header in your response to ask for more data. In this case, you can ask for platform version and model to get that Android version and device type back in subsequent requests. You can do the same thing in JavaScript by calling get high entropy values on the user agent data API. You can see here I'm making that call, passing in an array of values I want, platform version and model. This returns a promise with an object containing those specific values. For more details on handling cross-origin resources and initial requests, check out our latest blog post. You can also find links to demos, reference documentation, and how to join the deprecation trial if you need more time to prepare. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.